Have you been stabbed? I mean, it's a normal thing, right? So, have you been stabbed? If yes, then you will relate to my story. I remember when I was in kindergarten, I am a playful child who always loves to play with my classmates and friends. Anyway, as a cute small child, smaller than the rest of my classmates, there's a kid who came to school one day, and to my surprise, he is smaller than me. Smaller and thinner. By the way, I was a thick kid. He was seated beside me, and eventually, I started talking to him. Psst, what's your Roblox password? He was a quiet kid, and I am the opposite. So, I made friends with him. We played toys in the morning and ran outside the building after school. I even shared my food with him. We had so much fun together. The two of you were full of chaos. I think. One day, he came to school with a long face. I don't know what's wrong. And as a child, I did not care that much. But I remember him sitting beside me all through the class without even looking at me or talking to me. I was frustrated. He was one of my close friends. So, before the class ended, I talked to him. I asked him if he wanted to play with the school toy since our teacher left for whatever reason that is. He talked to me. What do you want from me? I was delighted. For a while. Then he started talking about how ugly my cute face is, my ugly handwriting, and even me being friendly with him. He thought I was stupid. This child has an attitude problem. So, I fought back. I will surrender without fighting. I told him how small he is, how I hate his haircut, how he wears his uniform, and how his mom doesn't love him anymore. <laughs> yes, I know. I crossed the line. But I want to attack him where it hurts. He went quiet. I felt bad, but kind of proud of myself. I know, I was a butt. But... Before I could even talk again, he took the pencil from the table and stabbed me on the left side of my arm. I was speechless. I stared at the stabbed pencil and said, Doesn't even hurt. But it freaking hurts so bad. He then answered, Talk to me again and I will stab you. One more time the horror on my face i never tell on him except for my grandmom she applied first aid to my wound and i cried like there was no tomorrow for me it was actually a deep wound not only on my arm but also in my memory i don't know if my grandmother talked to my teacher but that's the last time i saw him I can still remember what he looked like. And one day, I will exact my vengeance. Or not! Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to receive notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, leave a like and a comment. As always, I will see you on my next video. Bye!